continue 0.2 miles. GPS navigation systems do more than just give you directions to your destination. It will display uh, road closures and incidents in real time. This is an iPhone 3G and it is running the app called Inrix. These days, the use of cell phones are an integral part of our everyday living. Welcome to the Arizona 511 system. And driving is no exception. Valley commuters can call the 511 travel information number to get the latest information about traffic incidents and road closures, enabling drivers to get to work faster. So if I were to click it, here it says construction on Highway 153, or I'll click another one, it says construction on South Priest Drive. These dynamic message signs also provide accurate travel time information for motorists. We collect information for vehicles as they travel on the freeways. And from that information, we can determine what the average speed of the vehicles are. And for given segments, we can then post what the travel times are from a given point to another location. Message signs can also warn motorists about adverse weather conditions and traffic accidents, as well as Homeland Security and Amber Alert announcements. Off the freeway system, dynamic message signs also have another purpose. They're being used by cities like Glendale to manage traffic to events, such as Arizona Cardinal football games. These new message signs, like the one behind me, can be used to display color messages that are corresponding to the parking passes for drivers coming to and from events at the University of Phoenix Stadium and Jopping.com Arena. This is the City of Tempe Transportation Management Center. What you're looking at right now is our central system software, which also helps me manage the predictive priority for the light rail system. Christine Warren works in the Tempe TMC, where there is another application of ITS in use. When an emergency vehicle or light rail train approaches a signalized intersection, it may be provided a priority green light by temporarily overriding the normal signal sequence. This system is known as predictive priority and is used along the entire light rail alignment. This is the conflict management unit. It communicates with the traffic signal controller to make sure that there's no indications in the field that would be conflicting with each other. ITS uh, technology really is helpful for us to make sure that uh, both the light rail and cars and our signal systems work uh, in sync and that plays a major part in the investment that we put within our system. Most drivers have experienced the exhilaration that comes with breezing through every traffic signal. But if the lights are synchronized in the direction you are driving, they may not be synchronized to vehicles on cross streets. Instead of attempting the impossible, traffic engineers optimize the signal settings to minimize the overall delay at intersections. The MAG Traffic Signal Optimization Program started in 2004 and has so far helped improve operations at about 400 signalized intersections across our region. Traffic signal optimization is one of the most cost-effective ways to move our traffic efficiently and safely. It allows cars, bikes, and pedestrians to move about with minimal delays and stops, while lowering fuel consumption and reducing air pollution emissions. But some delays are inevitable, such as those caused by traffic accidents. An accident has closed two lanes on the Santan Freeway. Whether it be an accident, spilled load, or stalled vehicle, Traffic incident management is a key priority for keeping traffic moving smoothly. DPS CAD reports a uh, roll of carpet in the center lane on northbound 101 at Via De Ventura. Communication between highway workers, TMCs, emergency response teams, and law enforcement must be clear and immediate. Service 16 copy. Service 16, I copy. Bill Hill patrols the freeways for the Department of Public Safety's Freeway Service Patrol, also a part of the regional ITS program. Well, we help all stranded motorists, uh, whether they're out of gas, flat tires, and we can help them get them on the way and get them back on the road. It looks like it's going to be a flat tire. Today, Bill's job is twofold. One, you? to clear the freeway of an unsafe incident and get traffic moving. Two, to help a stranded motorist. Uh, thank God had a service and uh, help me uh, get through with this last time. <laughs> That's a very good service. I'm so glad we had this program. The most gratifying part of the job is being able to help someone and to know that they appreciate it. So what's in store in the future for ITS in our region? 
Nearly $200 million has been allocated by MAG for ITS expansion over the next 20 years. Every city and town in our region is investing in ITS by building or upgrading their traffic management centers. More cities will be connected to each other's TMCs, enhancing coordination and cooperation. And the 511 phone system will be expanded. The implementation of ITS and the cooperation among MAG members has benefited our region's residents. Our traffic management system will continue to serve drivers by providing safe and efficient ways to travel, utilizing ever-advancing technology.